In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate how to make an isometric drawing which involves curved features. You know that the isometric drawing uh, with curved features uses isocircles which are basically ellipses. So here we see there are a number of uh, uh, curved features in different views. So we have uh, one curved feature in the top view, uh, we have uh, one curved feature in the front view we have a curved feature in the side view in initially we will take up uh, the curved feature in the top view so so we have uh, the isocircle in the top view so this curved feature it is uh, having a radius of three grid spaces so we will try to make this curved feature first just see how we make it up to this point it is uh, simply drawing the tangent between two ellipses now the next feature we know we need only half of it so we can cut it appropriately from here you know it is two grid spaces this side and uh, two grid spaces this side so to take into account this part and this part now we can trim it so first of all let us trim it trim the upper portion this is the cutting edge and this is the portion to be trimmed similar way for the lower part also we can draw the cutting edge again use this end this is the cutting edge we remove this portion and this portion and we no need these lines also this is how we should make it for the curve portion in the front view, so we need to shift the cursor into the front view. So this is the front view cursor. And we will locate from this point 3 grid spaces 2 and 3. Here we locate the center of the isocircle 1, 2 and 3 grid spaces ellipse we draw. Then there are 4 ellipses. So what we need to do is copy it in the depth direction we move and construct the 4 ellipses like this. And then we need these lines here. Similar way, we have one line up to this point. We need so overall its length is 2.2 height, that means 9 grid spaces. 3 grid spaces are for the arc, so we have 6 grid spaces from this point, from this point 6 grid spaces 
line we have to draw. Uh, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, we can draw in the beginning any length also. Now we one by one trim the lines, trim the ellipses, portion of the ellipses which are not required. So the front ellipse only this portion will be required for the curve. For the others, so we will need to make an arc, uh, make a tangent. second portion this is the cutting edge and this is the cutting edge second ellipse has been trimmed even the tangent will not be required between these two points because there is no feature here so this one this one the trimming is required here then for the third ellipse these are the cutting edges and we remove the unrequired portion for the fourth this is the cutting edge and we complete the curved portions we know there are edges required here so we complete them also even this side also we need an edge this small line of two grid spaces is required on the other side also. Smaller ellipses of one grid space are also required. In the top view I completed, now in the front view. This is the front view ellipse. Uh, This ellipse will not be visible even if it is a through hole, but in the next portion it will be visible, but not completely. So this is the cutting edge, we remove this portion. So we completed. A substantial portion here. Now zoom again to the previous. You see that in the front view the depth here is only two grid spaces. So we draw the line from here keeping up to the two depth. And in the side view we note that the center of the ellipse center of the circular portion is again two grid spaces below this line so we draw again up to two grid spaces the line here and for the circular portion visible in the side view we again draw the ellipse with center located from here three center located along this direction one 
2 and 3 this is the center 